Hello guys, this is Lamid Sane of Code Logical once again, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at two quick things. First is the Ember Inspector, and um, before we actually install it, I'll just show you quickly what it is. So anytime you are in which you are looking at an Ember application on your website, there's this thing called the Inspector, which actually can show you. It actually helps you in development, but if you have issues um, to debug as well, it comes in quite handy. So. Um, for stuff like if you have created a route, defined a route that is, and its URL component, and you want to know what convention to use to name the route and the controller, so the inspector can help you with that as well. So let's say, um, let's just comment this route and this controller out from the last tutorial, which is tutorial 4, our first um, controller. So when I refresh this page, um, all this data disappears from the controller that's fine but now when we come to the ember inspector here i'm using chrome so it's available for firefox as well i think it behaves pretty much the same haven't used it in a while but yeah um, when we come to the routes tab here we can see our route which is defined these are all other routes that ember defines for you which is the error route and the loading route we'll cover that in other videos but this is the one that we have um, created ourselves is first route and the route and if you want to create a, a explicit route um, right now this one is created by ember for you and this first route controller and um, this template we created all this controller and the route have been created by ember for you because if you don't create explicit controllers and routes ember does that for you so that it can hook stuff to your template easily but um, if you want to know what name to use so everything works using the convention you can come here and look at your route name and you will know what route um, name to use here and what controller name as well so i get i know that must be a bit confusing there's the route name and then there is your route but um, i'm sure as we're going by these things will get clearer okay so just go to the chrome web store and i want you to type in ember inspector just press enter and I have installed it but it's um, maybe two things will come up or three there's the angular battle run pretty much the same thing for angular as well so there's something called ember inspectors click on that and then install it and you should get something like I have here I can't pretty much stress how important this is but um, it will help you in your ember um, adventure a lot okay so let's close that. So the second part of this tutorial series is I just want to explain the Ember.js flow. So normally how Ember.js works is um, from a top-down approach. So you define your routes in the route mapper here. And what happens is it just goes to your, um, your route that you've defined here. And the route sets up if it has a model, for example, if we define a model here, once again, if this is not clear, just um, don't think too much about it. We'll return to it in a later video. So a model is just um, sort of like the default data that your template requires, or if you want to show stuff. So in this case, let's say first item and second item. So our model is an array with two items in it. And so what happens is Ember comes here, then loads your route and loads any models associated with it. If you don't specify a route, then it means your model will be null or nothing will be in it. Um, that's okay if all you need is just to display a static template, like we did in our first tutorial here without the first and the last name. And then it comes to your controller, so it passes whatever information is in the route to your controller if, if we have defined it so let's uncomment this so in this case this model here will be set to this controller and then after the it's um, designed your controller with all the data stuff then it comes and loads your um, template okay so just to recap once more you have a you define a route um, definition here with a route name and a URL part then that loads up whichever route you've defined here. Then the route decorates your controller. Then your controller, um, after that, your application loads the um, the template that you have set for that route. Okay, so that's it, guys, for this tutorial video. Um, I just try to keep it short. 
and um, please don't forget to install the ember inspector because i'll be using it a lot in future videos to come so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye bye